you know, I think it's worth mentioning that I've only had the suit on for about 10 minutes. So this is a brand new, you know, not broken in kind of just off the shelf as it comes suit. So, you know, uh, we'll, we'll do a kind of eval based okay. on that. Finish that probably 20 minutes before you get here. <laughs> so uh, with our stated suits, you get shoulder expanders, back expander, knee expanders. With the airbag suit, we had to figure out how to make the suit grow with you, but fit you like it's supposed to. And as you can see, he can move all around with no restrictions. Um, and he's used to having the suit with just the base expanders, but now he has expanders that go up over your shoulder and around the back of your neck between your neck and the hump because the airbag runs through there and that will grow around your neck, hold the helmet in place. He has the expanders underneath the armpits because the airbag runs around his side and up his front and that will let the suit grow. And if you want to turn all the way around there, and then you can see the expanders here that run down his side because the airbag basically comes out of, this is the trigger for it, runs out of the sides around over the front, up around your shoulders. The suit has to fit you properly so that way there even if you know if you low side and you don't deploy it, the suit still has to protect you, but it has to grow a good three to four inches once the airbag deploys, so it doesn't break ribs. I mean, interestingly enough, the the expanders and the way they're laid out, I think, make a brand new suit fit more nicely right from the beginning. I can, you know, for it being a brand new suit, I've had many of those in my day, and you know, this one, the freedom with which I can move right away. I would say is perhaps the best one I've ever had. Yeah, it's, it, it helps a lot with the movement in it. And if it's a little snug, it will grow with you. Yeah, and it's not really hanging off me. I mean, it fits, it fits pretty well right now, and yet I can go right all the way down into a full crouch right now and it's comfortably, and it's, I'm not feeling tension in my elbows or my knees, or it's not pulling on my back. I can still lift my shoulders up and move my arms around and stuff, which is a really good thing, yeah. you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I, I, it's very, very important from a riding standpoint, to never feel like the suit's restricting you. Correct. You know, I got to have 100%, and I got, you know, I can do anything I want as flexible as I can be anyway. Yep. You know what I mean? And, and move my arms around and do all the kind of motions I might have to do on a motorcycle. Um, you know, right now, I feel like I could just get on a bike and go ride, and I've had the suit on for 10 minutes. And that's what we like to hear. Yeah. With the vests that they sell, um, it blocks a lot of the ventilation off because you have mm -hmm. something over your suit. And with the airbag system, um, Mike designed and came up with the idea of controlling the bladders so that they wouldn't restrict the airflow and that when it does expand they grow inside the suit and then when they're done growing they deflate they go back to being small again so you don't lose your full ventilation. I'm not, I've always liked on my own suits, of course this is a custom one made for me so you guys do what I ask you to do and I always like these whole full frontal perforations because it gives me lots of airflow and you know, when you unzip this, I don't know if it's worth doing, but there's there's no impediment to my airflow in here. Like, my entire front panel can it's flow air, correct. you know, and, and, you know, you can see that as I take this thing down, there's no difference to what normally is here. So I've got the fully perforated suit with a nice little liner inside. I'll get all the air that I usually get, you know what I mean? And I, I don't know the little bit that the air is in here. I, you know, I don't know how much airflow I get from the very sides of my ribs. Correct. It's mostly coming front of me, you yes. know what I mean? So. Yep. Should be, it should be nice and cool. So that, that, that's a major concern. That's one of the things that I've heard people talking about when they say, oh, you know, an air suit, isn't that going to be hot? And I'm like, well, I mean, I, I think we've probably retained 85% of the, of the ventilation of the suit right beforehand. So, you know, we should be good. It should be good, yes. We should be right in Laguna Seca, it's going to be 90 degrees. So you'll, you'll we'll get a test right away. That's right. Yep. Excellent. Thank you.